One morning, a girl, a scrawny thing past childhood, but not yet arrived at womanhood, crests Grace's peak and comes to stand at the foot of the steps leading up to the veranda, where Grace sits sparing and savoring slices of mango. Grace sniffs. The girl is clean, but there are holes in her washed-out dress, and her feet are bare. Grace, who wears only rainbow-hued dresses of richest cotton, looks down her nose at the girl's drab clothing. Yes, she asks. And as Grace is about to open her mouth to tell the girl that in life you can't expect things to just be handed to you, the girl surprises her by saying, May I pick and sell some of your mangoes to get money for what I need? I'll give you one mango for each five I pick. Imagine. You'll give me one of my own mangoes, will you? Grace scoffs. The girl's head with its raggedy rows of single plaits, dips, and Grace considers the offer. It is well thought out, and she likes that the girl isn't just looking for a handout. Indulging, indulging her would be the generous thing to do. You may pick, Grace says. The girl's surprised eyes jump to hers, even as her face purples like a plum in delight. Grace lowers her voice, but only from the tree at the far end of Grace's peak. Praises trip over themselves to escape the girl's mouth. Bless you, miss. Thank you, miss.